If you've ever got a spare five minutes to yourself, pull up a list of policies and proposals and so on that the S&P have passed and planned to pass since Dinlips took over. And then look at these areas individually. And without fail, each and every time, somewhere, even if not so obvious at first glance, there is a rubber stamped UN explanation somewhere. And there's some in Scotland that just can't see it. Those that are genuinely under the impression that the heavens opened up and down fluttered a winged thin-lipped angel with a bowl cut, sprinkling progressive cohesive diverse policies over the electorate in Scotland, making Scotland a wonderful place to live. And for those that believe that Thin Lips is the second coming of Christ, they can't seem to understand that Nicola Sturgeon seems to be completely and utterly incapable of doing anything herself. While every aspect of society seems to be mediocre at best, every policy proposal and so on that she decides to steamroll on ahead with, it's almost as if she's following orders. <laughs> and this is no difference. MSP's signed Shelter Petition. Campaign was launched after research conducted for Shelter Scotland found that 88% of people surveyed agreed that everyone in Scotland should have a legal right to a safe, secure and affordable home. Recently, Thin Lips Advisory Group on Human Rights Leadership, there's your first red flag, recommended that a new act of the Parliament on Human Rights would create an opportunity to underpin Scotland's tangled web of housing rights by including the right to a home and human rights legislation for the first time. Commenting on the campaign, the MP said, I believe everyone should have the right to a decent, affordable home. That's why I have signed Shelter Scotland's petition in support of the Are You With Us campaign. Housing may be a human right, but there is a noted gap between this technical right and what is protected under domestic law. For thousands of Scots, a safe, secure and affordable home is out of reach. Citizens of Scotland deserve better protection to secure their right to a home. Citizens of Scotland. And the second red flag. Uh, there are more than 14,000 homeless children in Scotland and nearly 11,000 in temporary accommodation. We have rising numbers of people sleeping rough across the country. The evidence is clear. People's right to a home need to be significantly strengthened. Throughout this campaign, we want the people of Scotland to know that a good home is their right, not a privilege, and it should be law. All very well and good on surface level, but isn't it convenient that this all comes out at the exact same time? that the Cabinet Secretary for Communities and Local Government, Aileen Beanstalk, who is responsible for social justice, tackling poverty, etc, etc, refugees and asylum, third sector and social economy, the same boot who dismissed incorporating hate crime protections for Christians in Scotland. <laughs> Isn't it convenient timing that this all comes out at the exact same time as Aileen Beanstalk claims that we all have a moral duty to help those most in need. We want to provide a humanitarian response to the plight of people facing eviction and homelessness. You know, those refugees that have had their claims rejected. Yes, that's right. Government support for asylum seekers facing eviction. Money will be shared between local organisations to help failed asylum seekers have access to legal professionals and other services. The money will be shared between local organisations to help ensure asylum seekers have access to legal professionals, etc. Comes after a court ruling last month which deemed locked change evictions against failed asylum seekers lawful, <laughs> leaving around 150 facing eviction who shouldn't have been in the country anyway. Give or take, maybe there might have been a few that haven't had their processes, no, their claims processed, but the good majority of them had their claims rejected and were still residing in accommodation that they had no right to be in. <laughs> but it shouldn't come as a shock when the locks were changed. A session in Edinburgh ruled the practice used by Home Office contractor Circle against asylum seekers, failed asylum seekers, who had been denied refuge in the UK is not unlawful. Yes, denied refuge in the UK. <laughs> uh, Aileen Beanstalk said, we all have I've read that, uh, this funding will ensure Advocacy and legal support are available for those who are desperate, who desperately need it and ensure people's dignity and rights are respected. Previous UK governments have failed to fix their failed asylum processes. This cannot continue. It is now time for them to fi finally find a long-term, fucking sustainable again, humane alternative to the asylum process. <laughs> Don't really know how else to spell it out, but uh, if they've had their claims rejected, I suggest kicking them out of the country. Or at the very least paying for them to go back to where they came from. One of the two. 
But instead of that, oh no, we need to pander, we need to roll out the red carpet, we need to do everything that we can to accommodate them, we need to make sure that they're treated humanely and find long-term sustainable solutions for them because they're failed asylum seekers, but you know, alien beans dog here to save the day. I will be writing to UK ministers to remind them of their role, oh I'm sure they can't wait for that one. The organisation sharing the funded, uh, funding included Glasgow City Mission, Glasgow Night, Shelter for Destitute Asylum Seekers, <laughs> Failed Asylum Seekers, Scottish Refugee Council, Govan Law Centre and Shelter Scotland. <laughs> Shelter Scotland. Right. <laughs> the same Shelter Scotland that is responsible for the campaign with their claims that everyone in Scotland has the right to a home. Hmm. Failed Asylum Seekers. Nearly 150 failed asylum seekers facing imminent homelessness in Glasgow will be given urgent intensive advocacy support. The Rainbow Unicorn Party will provide a 250 grand funding package to organisations to help ensure asylum seekers have access to legal professionals and other services. Oh, they've got money to pluck at their arsehole when it suits them, eh? The government provided 150 grand of emergency funding to strengthen local advocacy support for destitute asylum seekers at the risk of eviction helping to reduce the number of people at risk of eviction from a peak of 330 when planned lock change evictions were first announced. <laughs> Further funding proposals for long-term strategic projects are also being developed and there's no elaboration as to what that will entail. If it's not anything in relation to getting them out of the country, then quite frankly, quit while they're ahead. Every single time the SNP come out with some new bogus proposal, there's always some underlying alternative reason for why it's been passed and put forth in the first place. A place of refuge, this is from their manifesto. We believe that every country has a responsibility to tackle global issues such as the plight of refugees and humanitarian impact of disasters, etc. This is why Rainbow Unicorn delegates will demand that an independent body makes decisions on asylum applications in place of the Home Office. This is part of a wide set of reforms supported by Rainbow Unicorn delegates, including the introduction of a fair asylum system. Uh, enter detention for those claiming asylum, reopening of the dub scheme for unaccompanied children, the extension of the rules around family reunification to children, a new scheme to ensure that families retain the right to remain together, uh, the creation of safe and legal routes for people to find protection in the UK, the right for asylum seekers, allowing them to contribute to our economy and to work for asylum seekers, making them literally no different to an economic migrant, but however, nonsensical Syrian resettlement program, nonsensical for the simple reason that Syria is now being rebuilt, slowly but surely, uh, has shown how successful and life transforming refugee resettlement can be. But it's not refugees that Europe has been seeing for the most part, is it? No, it's African men. Continue to urge the government to fundamentally change their approach to housing asylum seekers. Accommodation must be safe, suitable, dignified, and accommodation providers need to be held accountable by local authorities. And a rainbow unicorn land, our housing regulator. No duty on providers that there'll be a no lock changes in eviction cases. People cannot be made destitute because of a failed home office system. Oh, it's the home office, home office system's fault for why they've had their claims rejected and still have not vacated the country, let alone the fucking premises, folks. Another example of the Rainbow Unicorn Brigade working behind the scenes to incorporate adaptations to the legal system to accommodate for the migration of the future.